Please give us your take of what the situation is on the ground and on the seas. What do the backlogs look like and the bottlenecks? Uh, we continue to be very busy here at the nation's largest port, Sherry. Some 20 vessels are being worked in port today. Normally, that's between 10 and 12. We have 50 ships at anchor awaiting berthing rights here at the Port of L.A. And of those 50 ships, about 20 of them are destined right here for the Port of Los Angeles, uh, the balance to our neighbor next door at the Port of Long Beach. How much has that to do with perhaps a peak shipping season with the Lunar New Year in China coming up? And what do you see around flows to China as well? Well, this has really been about uh, three years in the making. From the trade tensions with China to the fiscal policy, including the strength of the U.S. dollar, and then the pandemic buying surge that we've witnessed since the beginning of COVID-19. These are levels of shipments that we've never seen before in our 113-year history. At the same time, we're down 24 out of the last 26 months on exports moving from the United States through the Port of Los Angeles. So it truly is one-way trade. Yeah, a number of the containers, well, the majority of the containers that leave LA port appear to be empty. Can you describe what's going on around the container situation and what's happening with container production? Paul, you're exactly right. And the movement of empty containers from the Port of Los Angeles is two to two and a half X those of export containers leaving our docks. Simply put, for the shipping lines, it's quicker to get those empties back and pre-positioned at the manufacturer's door in Asia and specifically China to rotate them back for American imports. Uh, the um, strength of the market is such that that work has got to be done on a cycled fashion, and that's what we're seeing today. Uh, what we're seeing on container manufacturing is a huge drop. Uh, as we left 2020, please remember, we were down here at the Port of Los Angeles in the fourth quarter by 16%. We went over a cliff year on year at that point, really because of the trade policies and the advanced inventories on the import side to avoid that taxation of imported goods. So the container manufacturers didn't see a strong market. Both sales and production are down 40 percent. Can you give us an example as well of the sorts of challenges you face landside with all the COVID restrictions and what's being done to, to address those bottlenecks? Well, the impact has been on the worker who has been out on the job since day one when the emergency orders went into place. Right now, about 800 of our 15,000 dock workers are out sick or isolating due to COVID-19 restrictions. There are also limitations on our warehouse workers, and we're concerned about our truckers. But help is on the way, and we've been calling since early December to get these and other key port workers vaccinated as quickly as possible. How long do you think that will take, and when could you get back to sort of a semblance of normalcy in operations? Well, it all depends on the intake of the goods, Sherry. A lot of what we're seeing right now is the dwell time of merchandise both here on the port docks as well as out near the warehouses away from the port area. Those containers are sitting for longer periods of time without being emptied and returned back to the port for normal circulation. We've got to push the inventory out of the warehouses into the domestic supply chain onto store shelves and to the fulfillment centers. Once that begins to happen in earnest, we'll start to see things loosen up here at the port and allow the other modes of transportation to begin approaching fluidity once again. Gene, the container business is your primary driver, right? But what about other business lines and what are you seeing in other areas as well? Our other seven lines of business are down precipitously, save our fresh fruit and vegetables that come up from the west coast of South America. Steel and other bulk products down, mainly due to the trade tensions and tariffs that have been imposed. And our cruise industry has effectively been shuttered since the month of March. It's down 75% year over year. You mentioned uh, the trade tensions, the tariffs really making a huge difference in your operations. Now that we have a new administration, are you expecting those challenges to subside? Well, what I do see, number one, is that we'll have a meaningful seat at the table 
similar to what we had during the Obama-Biden administration. We have a list of policy ideas and ways to get some of the 10 million Americans who are currently out of work back on the job. Export jobs pay more than other segments in general across the country, and we want to do our part to help America's economy recover. You did mention you're seeing still a lot of demand from the fresh food side of things. Do you have any issues, though, with fresh food and agricultural product spoiling sitting on the dock? No, our longshore men and women have done a great job to expedite the products that are necessary, whether they be the vegetables and fruits or those parts, components and peripherals that go into the American manufacturing system. It's the retail goods that seem to be sitting longer, and we're doing our best work right now to try to segment those commodity groupings so we can really move the product through that's necessary right now and encourage others to try to pick up the pace on their equipment, devanning the product and returning it here to the port. Are you seeing any expansion plans either being accelerated, brought forward, or perhaps abandoned because of what's going on at the moment? Well, because that's a great question, Paul. And because of our strong fiscal policy over the last several years, we've been able to invest through cycle. And we managed more than 460 million U.S. dollars of infrastructure and construction projects through the pandemic which made the equivalent of 3,000 construction jobs possible all the way through this pandemic. So we're continuing full steam ahead.